In the command window, type run important. It shows this message. We can help your research and engineering project. No matter of the size and the topic of your project, we can help. Visit www.yeeprogrammer.com. This is Marco Wu from yeeprogrammer.com. I'm going to talk about kurtosis and skewers in this video. Now, the first thing is we need to create some data, random data. I'm going to create some uh, normal distribution data. Now, I set the mu is equal to 2, sigma is equal to 4. And then I use a function. The function is norm rand, N O R M R N D. Now, what it will do is it will create some data according to normal distribution. So I am now creating 10,000 data points of normal distributed data, random data. Okay, so after that, I create RR, another set of data. Now, RR is combine the original R and another set of normal distributed data. I have a total 20,000 data point of RR. If your research or engineering projects are falling behind, eeprogrammer.com can help you get them back on track without exploding your budget. Okay, let's see how. The distribution is quite clean. It's very close to a normal distribution. Okay. Let's see what is how how. Now you can compare the first part and the second part. You can see the second part have a long tail on the left hand side. Okay, so it is not a standard distributed data because I combine data together. Now let's see what is scalars. Now in MATLAB you can use this command scalars to find out um, the answer. Now what is scalars? What what it can tell you? There is a few things is when it is due to zero then that means that it's normal distribution. When it says minus, that means it is have a tail on the left hand side. If it is positive, then it have a tail on the right hand side. Kurtosis. Kurtosis is a bit different. Kurtosis is like if the number is equal to three, then that is normal distribution. If the number is equal to 1.8, then that is uniform distribution. So let's see what is the scalars of R. It's minus 0 0.0118. Then the scalars of RR is minus 4.9 minus 0.49 now so you can see the tail is on the left hand side For R is 3.0432, which is a close to normal distribution. For RR, we get 2.2484, which means the data is not normally distributed. 